Hi, if you just started your PS5 and it does indeed turn on but not showing any image on the screen, then try these steps and hopefully one of them will solve the issue. First, turn your PS5 completely off by holding the power button for about 5 seconds. Let the console sit for another 10 seconds and then plug both the power cord out of the PS5 as well as doing the same on the screen or the TV that the console is connected to. Let both devices be without power for about 5 minutes and then plug them back in and retry starting the PS5. If this does nothing, it is also worth testing another HDMI cable as well as switching inputs on your screen if it has got more than one. Also be sure to check the bright and contrast settings on your TV or monitor to make sure those have not been lowered to zero somehow. If still nothing works, the next step is to boot the PS5 into safe mode and then reset the video resolution. Here you will need your PS5 controller and a suitable USB cable to connect it to the console. Now first again start by turning the console off by holding the power button for about 5 seconds. Then press the power button again, but now keep holding it until you hear two beeps or one beep if you got the normal startup beep disabled like I do here and then let go of the button. With a little luck you should now see a very low resolution menu telling you to connect your controller using a USB cable and then press the PS button on the controller. Upon doing so you should then be presented with the safe mode menu. Again the image here should look a little bit off because the console is starting up in a lower resolution to combat any eventual problems regarding the video signal. In safe mode select the second option change video output followed by change resolution. The PS5 console now restarts and then displays place a list of selectable resolutions. Here pick the one supported by your TV and then press X on the controller to move on. If you are uncertain of which resolution to pick, go for the one that says 1080p. Hopefully the console now starts up like normal. If however it does not, but you were able to get into safe mode, one last thing to try is to rebuild the system files. Again this is done by first accessing the safe mode option just like before, but instead of selecting change video output, move a bit further down in the list and pick option number 6, clear cache and rebuild database, followed by rebuild database. Bear in mind though that this will on some occasions take a few hours to complete since the console is recreating the files of installed apps, games and even some system files. However though with a little luck this procedure can also potentially fix issues with both the video output software as well as correct any other system issues preventing the console from starting up normally. And that is about that. Hope this video helped, please though share any thoughts or questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, bye!